show you something that I bought off Etsy from Australia. I haven't actually bought anything from Australia before, so this was super fun. It's a vintage um, junk journaling pack, and it came in this with a very sweet uh, hand lettering of my name, which I thought was really quite pretty, and came tied up. Where are they? I undid it at work because I couldn't obviously contain myself. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested, that is who it is. And you can check her out. She shipped really, really quickly. And yeah, no complaints about that. And this really sweet tag, which I thought was actual flowers, but it's, I think it's painting. Very pretty. So yeah, it came in this cute, cute wrapping paper, Otters. And uh, yeah, wanted to share it. Maybe you're interested in checking her out and buying some of this for yourself. So there's some vintage doilies, which remind me of my grandmother. I actually think that my mother probably has these, or variations of these, in her cupboard somewhere. I should ask her if she wants them still. <laughs> then there is fabric. It's a sort of combination of paper and fabric and all sorts of pretty vintagey bits. And some more fabric. I thought this was really pretty. Not quite sure. What, oh, they're bunnies. Okay. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat, so you'll have to you'll have to excuse me. And they all seem to be upside down, but uh, maybe it's just the way I took them out. There's some butterflies, and this one was really sweet. That little little girl and boy. That's actually really really cute. And some small bits, and pretty white. I will say that I am starting to get into junk journaling, but I do prefer the uh, not so brownie, the, the not so brownie colours, um, which I suppose is a bit stupid when you think you're doing vintage stuff. But I prefer bright colours. Okay, so what is this? Oh, it's a pattern. Of course, it's a pattern. <laughs> I wonder what it was. What it made? little pinafore looks like. It's probably got the picture on the other side. Nope, nope, good, good. Not being totally stupid. I remember at school when we had home economics and uh, we were tasked with making a skirt and I managed to sew it inside out. So yeah, I was great at sewing. <laughs> There's some paper and uh, some card. Rose and thistle furnishing fabric. Oh, there we go. Victorian Albert Museum, London. Oh, wow. Okay. That's very cool. Postcards from the V&A in London. Funny enough, we have uh, our waterfront is called the V&A waterfront. I presume it's probably named after that. This is very pretty. Giant claret cup cactus. Wow. Where did that come from? The New York Botanical Gardens. And some birdies. Red-winged blackbird. Also... Uh, oh, well, there you go. It uh, nests and roo roosts in wet, most marshy... I can't read. <laughs> nests and roo roosts in wet, marshy or brushy habitats. This, of course, really, really, really spoke to me because uh, I am a crazy cat lady. Oh, it's a Japanese bobtail. I just feel sorry for cats with no tails. <laughs> hey, very cute. Nice. And then a very traditional Santa. Yeah. You know, you can actually sometimes... Uh, it's a replica of the antique original. You can actually sometimes uh, understand why kids freak out when you sit them on Santa's lap. I actually think this is a sticker. Am I right? Because it looks like it ought to be. Oh, look at that. Nice. I thought this was really, really lovely. It's... Um, Paper, but it's been sewn together which gives me an idea of what to do <laughs> an envelope cute envelope and then I think this well I don't think it says right there is wallpaper now I can remember as a kid we uh, moved into a house and the kitchen was well that's just that it's nice 
The kitchen was covered in wallpaper and my mother didn't like the, uh, the pattern at all. So we spent many, many days stripping wallpaper off. This is pretty. And I had this wallpaper in my bedroom which freaked me out. It was like a damask or something. But it, you know, if you looked at it funny, it looked like weird faces staring back at you. So yeah, not very, not very impressed with that I wasn't as a child. These are actually really, really pretty. See, they got a nice uh, common, common colour going on there. And some homemade paper with the flowers inside. And then, uh, oh, I don't know, scrapbooking paper. <laughs> I don't know the brand Paper Loft. I wonder if that's an Australian brand. Oops, a daisy. Single sided. Okay, very cool. But, 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 we haven't finished yet. Because then there's this bag of goodies as well. And this was all very reasonably priced, I thought. So, super impressed. Very happy with what I've got. Ooh, look at all these things. I hadn't looked at this. I got some more of these. I will admit this is not quite my uh, not quite my colour scheme, but uh, I'm sure one can jazz it up a bit. This is beautiful. I actually have fibres. I've got a whole little box of fibres that I'm very impressed with. <laughs> not quite sure what to do with them, but that's really pretty. And this is also very very pretty. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that one is nice as well. I can add it to. It. I'll show you how I store them actually. If you're at all interested. <laughs> this this is so pretty. That, uh, that I really like actually. I know I sound so surprised. All this vintage lace. Also very, very pretty. Gosh, you know, if I'd known I should have raided my grandmother's cupboard. <laughs> Kept all this stuff and then sold it. Uh, uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Rick Rack. That's nice. This one you could thread stuff through, I guess. Not sure what you would have originally used it for. But it's very cool. And then this one. And this one. This is very pretty. Ooh, that's prettier. Okay. <laughs> that is very pretty. I like that a lot. And uh, this one. And lastly, this little thing. So let me quickly get my uh, fibers box and show you. You may recognize the uh, the box. Good old Studio Calico back in the day. Yeah. But yeah, this is how I store all my fibers. Aren't they so pretty? Super, super happy with what I have here. And now I can add these to them. And then work out how I'm going to use them. But yeah, so that's how I store them. I just made little cards which I laminated and I wrapped them around. This I was very much inspired by 49 Dragonflies on YouTube. She was doing a series of, what was it, organising her stuff. And she organised all her ribbons and that got me very motivated to organise mine. But look how pretty that is. So there you go. That is my little haul of junk journaling bits and pieces from uh, Paper Daisy Journals. There we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe or whatever you want to do. And... I'm hoping to do a project with this soon and share it with you. So have a lovely day and yeah, we'll chat again soon. Bye bye.